What's good YouTube land? It's your boy Junior coming at you with Semi2 Tech Channel. Another great video. Well today's gonna be an awesome video. I think it is gonna be directed to all my gamers out there, especially my PC gamers, uh, or people that are going into the PC game from console devices. This is a great device. It is a very good device. It's the ability to use your Xbox One remote on your PC with no connectivity to it, no wire connection, nothing. All you need is a dongle that is from Xbox itself that you connect to your PC. It only works on PC, Don't doesn't work on Mac, guys. I'm sorry, doesn't work. But it's a great device. I, I did a video on this a while back, but I figured since the channel is mostly a lot of gaming stuff, and I said I'm gonna do product reviews and gaming reviews, it's a combination of two. It's not really a game, but it's for gaming. It's a review for gaming, and it's a product review itself. All right, so you're gonna notice there's a different background and everything, but I hope you guys enjoy the video. Remember guys, before we get started with this video, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. It helps the channel so much. Also, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and share this video and like this video, because. We all know by sharing this video, it helps other people find this video and shows them what we're talking about on this channel. As well as when you like the video, it helps me get more exposed out there. So go ahead and help out the channel a little bit. I do a lot of stuff and I've been bringing a lot of stuff. I know I've been saying I was going to bring a lot of stuff from the beginning. It just, I've been ultra busy doing some other family things that I had to take care of first. But so I just wanted to take, make a quick video from my old videos and bring it to you guys so you guys are aware of this. So all my new people that have never seen me before ever can be aware of this and y'all can use this. This is how I started doing PC gaming as well. Cause you know, PC gaming, I'm not the keyboard mouse type guy that can play real good with that. I need a remote. So when this product was able, I was able to find this product. It worked out great for me guys. So before we get to start the video, if you haven't done so already, Right here, the subscribe button right here, click on that. And once you click on that, you make sure you click right next to it, the little bell right here. Enable bell notifications so you get notified for every single video I come out with and or anything I come out else I come out with. As well as don't forget to like the video there and share it to your all your social media platforms. All right, guys, thanks so, so much for coming back. I do appreciate all the love and support that you guys show me. And I've been asked this a few times. Um, I get asked a lot of questions when I'm doing my videos. And I try to tell you what I do. But I like to present a better, it basically good um, video ideas. All right. So a lot of people have said, when I'm doing my videos, what do I use to play my games? I use many devices. I use my Nvidia Shield for my retro games. I can use my PlayStation 4 or my Xbox. Or even my PC they all work great for gaming and I have so many gaming options to play I'm glad I have them available so I can present it to you guys all right but the one question people keep asking me is what remote do I use when I do play on my on my PC all right and that's a very simple question it's very simple because some games that I might some PC games I don't have a PlayStation 4 or Xbox I have to use the keyboard and most of you know a lot of people hate using keyboards to play a game they rather use a remote so i did buy a cheap remote uh, it looks like a playstation 3 remote that plug in usb but it doesn't work with the pc games it doesn't work with the games that doesn't recognize it if i want to play a retro game on my pc it works perfect but it won't work with the pc games the pc will only recognize I believe is the the Xbox. I know for a fact the Xbox remote it recognizes. It's a plug and play. All right. Um, or I believe it also recognizes the the PlayStation 4, but you have to download a software, which is not a big deal. It's really not a big deal. All right. Okay. So I do use the Xbox. This is what I use to play. It's, to me, because it's very comfortable. And how I plug it up to my computer is. Basically, USB, I, I plug in the micro USB on this end and plug the USB on that side. 
Okay, so that's how I started playing first when I started playing PC games because it worked. It works great, you know. But the the bad part is it keeps me close to my PC. I can't go back and you know. Or what about if I want to play on my computer on my TV screen? I want to plug in my computer HDMI to my comp my TV and I want to play on the TV, but I gotta stay close to my computer because the wire. That's a problem. And so I found a solution. It's not that a big of an expensive solution, but it's a great solution and it's worth every single penny of it. And the solution I got was this right here was the Xbox controller USB adapter. Very simple, very small. It works on both lap laptops and, and desktops, but it only works on the PCs. That's the only downside of it. So my Mac users, I'm sorry. You have to find another way to hook up a remote. All right. The good thing about this is too, it keeps your remote wireless. So you could go far, just like you would do on a regular PlayStation. And once you plug it in, it's already installs all the software by itself. You don't have to do any kind of software installation, nothing. Plug it in and install it. And this only works on Windows 10. Right now, that's the latest one. So if you don't, if you have Windows 8 or 7, it's not gonna work, guys. Sorry. All right. This is the device here. That well, this is the box. Very simple. And you're asking first thing is everybody's always gonna ask, what is the retail price on this? I got it from GameStop for 25 bucks. Walmart sells it for the same price. Um, they were out of stock, so I had to go to Walmart. I had to go to Best Buy. I mean, not Best Buy. I had to go to um, GameStop and get it from there. And they have two versions. They have the version one, which is bigger than this is version two, which is even smaller. And this works great. This one's better for laptops because it's so small. Okay. Uh, the let me see. Let me bring it up. Let me bring the version one that I'm talking about. This is not it, but this is about the size of it. It's pretty big compared to the one, the newer version. So I'm gonna bring it out. This is exactly the same size, or probably a little, the other one's still bigger. So I'm gonna unbox this and show you what's inside. So we're gonna open it up real quick. And once you open it up, you have the dongle right there. Take that out. Oh. I'm bringing it up. All right. All right. So this is what it is right here. Ooh, sorry. Look how small that thing is compared to the other one. Look at that. Look how. Look at the difference of this. This is a fire stick, if you guys are wondering, but it's almost the same size. Look at the difference in size. It's a big difference, you know. So this works great. So all you have to do is take off the cover. That's the USB. Plug it in, and that's it. And once you plug it in. And to the PC, you plug it in, get your remote ready, turn it on, hold the button right, you're gonna see the button right here, the connecting button right here for the Xbox, hold that down until it starts blinking. Once you see it start blinking, the button right, there's a button right on top of here, the dongle, hold it down and start, start blinking. And then you're gonna see the remote gonna start blinking right here. And then once it starts blinking and stays solid, that means the connection, there is connection and it works awesome. All right? That's simple, guys. But let's take a look at what else is inside the box. Because you guys are probably wondering what's inside the box. So this is, like I said, this is the box. This is where the dongle came from. We're gonna open this up. You got a couple of pamphlets, instructions, how to do everything. Another, another booklet from Microsoft. And you got this wire right here. This is a USB extender. So let's say you you what you have it on your PC, but you don't want it too far, and you want it right in front of you. You can plug it to your computer, and and this extends to wherever you want to keep it, and then plug the the thing right there. See? We're gonna take the dongle, just plug it right there, and you can plug this part to the PC. Which this is so small, you don't need this. All right, like these booklets. This this is how simple the instruction is. 
It, this is the instruction. You open this up. Tells you to turn on the remote. And then on the second one, it says plug in the dongle into the PC. Third step is turn on the signal on the on the remote. Hold it for three seconds. It starts flashing. After you see it flashing, hold the button down on the dongle so it can start flashing too and find con connectivity. And after you do that, your remote and your dongle are connected to your PC. Simple as that, guys. That's how simple these instructions are. That's what Xbox gives you. Not much to it, guys. All right. Hopefully, this is something that guys will find interesting. I wanted to present it to you guys because it is an awesome device. It's worth every penny. I suggest you guys go get it if you guys do play a lot of game gaming PCs and don't like using the keyboard or like aftermarket remotes that don't feel right. Because we're all used to playing with the PlayStation and the Xbox remotes. That's all we guys all we used to play before PCs, before hooking up, upgrading your PCs to gaming. All right? All right, guys. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Show me all the love you guys are showing me. I do appreciate it. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the comment box below. And I'll get to you as soon as I can. Or make a video on it, guys. That's all. <laughs> all right? Till next time, this is Joe.